Hi everyone, this is Jay and this is the ASUS EPC T101MT netbook convertible. It's a touchscreen netbook and what we have here is Plants vs Zombies. Ruby is playing and she's gonna show us just how responsive the touchscreen is. And if you're new to Plants vs Zombies, I guess we can also treat this video as sort of like an intro to it and a walkthrough. So this is level 3 to 8 and once again if you don't know what Plants vs Zombies is, it's this really popular casual game where the goal is to keep the zombies from entering your house and apparently you and this guy named Crazy Dave are the last two survivors on earth and there was a zombie apocalypse um, so the, the way the game works is by planting plants pretty much and using different types of plants to as a blockade to prevent the zombies from getting inside your house but the cool thing is even if they do get through there are on the left side there there are lawn mowers which are sort of like lifelines they will turn on and kill which any zombies that are on each of those rows so she just planted a um, A plant that shoots out ice and actually slows down the zombies. The game starts off very slow because it's um, letting you build up the, the sunbeams right there on the left side. So right now all she's doing is planting those walnuts. And they're sort of like walls because the zombie has to eat to get through them. And some zombies are actually harder to kill than others. Some will have buckets on their head that are sort of like makeshift armor for them. And it's very important to keep an eye on each row because sometimes a zombie might not die even even if you have like um, a pea shooter on him for quite a while. So there's one right there, he has a traffic cone on his head. It'll actually take a lot longer to kill that one but since we're using a pea shooter to shoot eyes, it's gonna slow that while damaging it. She's putting water lilies in the pool in the middle because she needs it to be able to plant to put a um, sunflower there. The game does get harder and harder. More zombies will keep coming. And I'm just waiting for more and more to come. And you'll see the screen will get filled with zombies and all sorts of plants trying to repel them back. There are also coins that you can pick up and you can spend it. Crazy Dave sells some good items later on. Everyone has different strategies when playing this game, but it's there's a general strategy of, you know, if it's daytime, you plant the sunflowers first and a row of um, attackers which are the blue pea shooters right there and also barricades which are 
the walnuts. So it's telling us there's a huge wave of zombies approaching and she just planted a three-headed pea shooter which shoots a pea on each on three lanes. And you can see in the middle there there's a zombie on a uh, floating duck. And now on a dolphin. There are some crazy crazy um, animations in this game. Sometimes you'll see a zombie dressed like Michael Jackson and he'll actually summon four zombies around him. It's pretty cool. As you can see, she planted the three-headed pea shooters at those exact spots because you want to be able to cover all six lanes and she's doing just that. The tangle kelp drowns the zombies. There are a few misclicks in terms of the responsiveness of the touchscreen, but overall, it's pretty. It's pretty the, the netbook itself is really fast, being a netbook. Um, as you can see, there's no lag in gameplay. It has a nice resolution to it, good colors. And this is also a good chance to stress test this netbook because like I said the screen will be filled with zombies a lot of them later on and plants Oh, it's the final wave, so we might not see this whole screen get filled up by zombies after all, but this is the last huge, huge wave. And, oh, there's a zombie that just jumped over a pea shooter. As you can see, she's having a hard time placing that one. And that's actually it. She beat the game. Or that level at least. Thanks for watching. And please subscribe.